Ooh, worked on the first try. Okay. Fire extinguisher is a good touch. It is, you know, safety first. Mm -hmm. Safety first. Okay, European caps. The best. Why do you like them, Emily? They're comfortable, first and foremost. They're well made. I like the designs. So I like the fabrics, which are absolutely beautiful, yeah, like way better than the stuff we get from China. Um, not because China doesn't do it, but usually because the fabrics are also from Europe and the people who are choosing to make caps in Europe want that whole supply chain in Europe. Whereas a lot of the suppliers who are doing caps from China are often kind of a little bit in the fight to the bottom. They're trying to get that low price. Um, it shows. It, it does show. And so when Emily's talking about how the quality shows, so this cap, there are, this is made in panels. There are eight panels. And you can see how perfectly lined up all of these segments are. And so there are specific things, like a lot of plaids we buy in this shape because it shows off how well this hat is made. That's a very difficult thing to do. Um, and most of the time when you're getting a cap and a plaid from China, it's just sort of like randomly cut. They don't make any effort. They focus more on using the fabric efficiently than cutting well to get a beautiful end product. Quantity like this. over quality. Yeah, all for the quality. Unless it's intentional. Yeah, which sometimes it is. Um, so this one, this is a European made cap, but this is more of a price point cap. Um, this one is 72. One, this one is 30. 164. I said 130. Yeah, this is, this is also from the heirloom collection. It's got this... Um, who is it inspected by? Thing. Well, that's not who inspected it, it's who made it. Mm. It's the person who actually sewed it. So it has that... Um, information and the date on which it was made which is pretty cool this was made by alex um yeah so this one's a little bit more of a price point you can see that this plaid is just cut however it's it's intentionally cut in sort of random segments and comes together randomly it gives you a totally different kind of look there's nothing wrong with this look but this just shows the quality off so well. And so when you're looking for a quality hat and you want people to know that you're wearing something really beautiful and well-made, this is what you go for. Okay. And then one of the other things I really like about these is the linings. Um, and so they have like different prints. These all happen to be blue. People like blue. Blue and white. Um, and it's always sort of a surprise. We never know what exactly we're going to get for the patterns, but I like always th cotton. Yeah. And this is a, this is really more of like a lawn, which is a weight of fabric, um, which is really up there. And the, the only thing lighter is a wall, which you're not speaking. My language. I know I'm not speaking English. No one knows. What I'm I just know about. it feels good. I just make words up. I believe you. Um, so yeah, and then the things that they're made out of, like this is silk and wool, silk and wool, and cotton, and it's this incredibly lightweight material. It's so thin that even though it's wool, it's summer wool. It's it's a summer hat. It's really light. They do and, it with suits too. Yeah, sometimes called tropical weight wool. Um, this one, what's this made out of? This is silk and linen, um, and cork. It's got this cool little background thing. This is actually a knockoff of a Borsalino cap that, um, traditionally Borsalino would do them all in the same pattern. So it would just be continuous for shaping purposes but they've used the pattern to get this nice mix of materials. Which is why we sell it. Yeah, and people love this hat. It's beautiful. And it's really unusual. It's the kind of thing that you can, somebody can look at it and be like, 
wow, that stitching is really even and that is really nicely cut. It is well made. Um, and then this one, this one that is the heritage line is um, a really lightweight linen. It's the feel of this is just really beautiful. It reminds me of a lot of the like really nice Japanese workwear. I love this hat. Um, we don't have it in my size, which is why I, I also don't have like it. the satin sweat. Yeah, they're these nice comfy sweats. And so this one they chose not to line and instead did this stitching with the satin over the seams so that the seams would be secure and hold and not itch your head if you're bald, but give you that real breathability. Also, yeah, linings when you are bald is really important. Linings are also really important if you are a person of color or you just have curly hair. Um, super important to have linings. It really makes a big difference. Yes. Um, so that is, that's why we like European caps, right? I feel pretty solid on that. I do as well. Okay, signing off. Ciao. Bye.